Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're continuing our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. There is such a thing as a guardian ad litem, which is a guardian that's essentially appointed by the court. The guardian ad litem is usually appointed by the judge as a person who is an advocate for the child. Now that's very interesting because usually we'll have mom, fighting over custody of the child or fighting over something that has to do with the child. Dad also correspondingly fighting over the child, fighting over something that has to do with the child. But where's the voice of the child? The general presumption is the voice of the child and the advocacy for the child is captured within the advocacy of the two parents. In other words, whatever the interests of the child are, they will certainly be covered and overlapped by the arguments of the father or the arguments of the mother. But it's not always the case. Every now and then the court will find that somebody should advocate on behalf of the child with respect to a particular issue. I'll give you an example of one such case that we had where the court found that it would be appropriate to appoint a guardian ad litem. I once had a access to a case. I say access because I wasn't really involved in representing either party. This was a case in the Macomb County Circuit Court in front of Judge Marlinga. At that time, he was sitting as a probate judge. And I had been on the case before, but my aspect of the case had finished. But the court had asked me to continue to be involved in the hearings just in case the court needed to resort to me for an opinion on one thing or another. So the proceedings were going along. These two people were fighting over the ashes of a deceased person. The father had died. He was cremated. Ex-wife wanted the ashes. Parents of the father, they wanted the ashes. And since this was their ex-daughter-in-law, they weren't satisfied that she should have them. They were worried that well, who knows what she would do with them. They should flush them down the toilet. Who knows? So. As they were arguing about this, the court turned to me and said, Mr. Goldman, would you like to add anything about this? And I said, I don't have much to add about these two parties, but I would like to suggest that nobody has taken into account the child in this dispute. This is the father of that child. Perhaps the court might consider appointing a guardian ad litem to advocate the interests of the child. That was my way of saying neither of these parties should have those ashes. Maybe it should go to the child since that was his father. And irrespective of what happens in the relationship, it'll always be the father. The, the parties can divorce and whatever. I mean, this is the ex-wife who they were divorced before the father died, obviously, right? So what skin does she have in the game? And the grandparents are probably only involved because they don't want the ex to be involved. But the child, who's taking care of the child? So I suggested the court, guardian would lie to be appointed for the child. And Judge Marlena thought that, that was an excellent idea and immediately appointed a guardian for that. That's an example of the role a guardian would lie to might play in a family law case. Now, of course, every case is different and some cases require it and some don't. If you think that yours is one such that might require it or you'd like to discuss it, of course, reach out to us and we'll be glad to help you out.